this is my 2020 mood board. I don't totally believe in the law of attraction, but I believe in motivation and I'm going to use this board to motivate me so that I see these pictures, it motivates me to do something else other than diving into the black hole of YouTube. So here are some things that are on my board. So I am 21 years old, I'm turning 22 this year, and let's see what we have. So let's start off with the basics. I first had to come up with a main central quote to put on the board, one that was going to inspire me, and I thought about it, and someone who's really been inspiring my confidence lately is Ariana Grande. And this year I want to be confident, I want to really embody her attitude. And so one I got from her song, Seven Rings. So I took the line, my smile is beaming, my skin is gleaming, the way it shines, I know you've seen it. So this year, I really just want to take care of myself, pamper myself, just the way I'm shining and all my confidence and happiness just glowing from me that people out in the world are able to tell and see a difference. And that's kind of my goal this year. I don't totally believe in the law of attraction. I'm just using this as mainly an inspiration for it. Something I'll wake up, it'll motivate me to do something I might not have done that day. I really want this to be a productive year and I'm just really excited with the potential I think this board can give me to constantly have that motivation when I get up in the morning to go and chase after my dreams. <laughs> I actually printed out my pictures at Costco. I've already cut them. The first selection of photos that I'm going to put on my board are these three Polaroid pictures and these pictures are actually going to represent photography. I really want to take a bunch of pictures and photography is something I'm just getting into in the past couple of years but this time I really want to pursue it and so that's something that's just going to remind me to take lots of pictures everywhere I go. The next picture I have is of the word lover. This is supposed to represent the Taylor Swift album and kind of the era she's in right now. Last year was one of the hardest years of my life and I really related to her album Reputation. Reputation is kind of like a dark, um, angry album. I very much went through a battle of someone trying to destroy my reputation and people actually believing them off of what they heard and what they think they're seeing. This year I really want to be in my lover era where I'm just loving and I'm not dealing with that and if it does happen, because it's still happening to this day, but I just want to embrace everything else with absolute love and not let that control my life and I'm really excited to just let go of the reputation and just be a lover. Next thing I want to do, I want to paint my nails. I haven't been one to paint my nails, but this is going to be the year that I am going to pamper myself, take care of myself, and make sure that I'm giving myself enough time to paint my nails. <laughs> so far, I am following through with it. I really want to go in a hot air balloon. I think it'll be really cool, and it kind of plays into my pictures, because that'll be some cute pictures, and this is an experience I want to have this year. I want to make a YouTube channel. Um, I have a wedding coming up this year, so a bunch of wedding videos will be on the way. I hope this video sees the light of day. I'm the type of girl that watched wedding videos all over YouTube, and so now it's kind of my time to share some of the stuff I've learned. This is going to represent painting. I just got some art supplies for Christmas this year from my future hubby to be, and I really want to take this on and see what I can do with it. I. I'm really excited to see what comes of it. I don't think it'll be that great, but I am a fast learner and I do really want to get good at this. I think it'll be an amazing hobby and something fun. Next up is another travel experience. It is the Trevi Fountain in Italy. And when I was little, I went to Europe with my mother and I threw a coin in the fountain. I actually threw two, which I think means you'll return back to Rome and then you'll find your love. And now that I'm getting married, I want to return with my love to Rome and just kind of fulfill that little fantasy. This next picture is going to represent hairstyles. I want to do a lot of hairstyles this year. I don't want to just throw my hair up in a ponytail. I want to pamper myself, make sure my hair is looking good. I think braided hairstyles are really cute, so I want to give that a go. <laughs> 
I had to get a picture of Selena Gomez with her Pantene campaign. I love how her hair looks in this and I really want to nurture my hair and make it look really nice. I do have a wedding coming up so I want it to be glowing, shiny, and healthy, no split ends. And right now I'm starting off with pretty bad hair. So nice as a telephone booth because I do want to go back to London so that kind of ties into it but mainly I just want to go back to London again this year. Next is a flower field. I really want to go to a flower field. I've never been to one before. I think they're just super romantic and beautiful and I really want to go to one this year. Next picture is the Bible. I really want to grow closer to God and I want to read more of the Bible, really devote my life more to Jesus. I want to pray more, talk to him more. Marie Kondo list. I want to be clean. I want to fold my clothes the right way. I am going to be getting married and I want to have all these tips done and all these folding hacks done and memorized before I move in with my fiance since that's going to be my primary role as a housewife. So I need to start learning. Next up is the Eiffel Tower. I've never been to Paris before and I really want to see the Eiffel Tower this year and there's a lot of travel stuff on here. Don't get me wrong. I do not travel out of the country a lot. I've traveled out of the country twice. I have a bunch of out of the country stuff because I'm going on a honeymoon and I can see all these places on the honeymoon so I probably won't see all of them but I'm really hoping I can find a way to do that. Next is a map with a camera. I really just want to travel in general even if it's 30 minutes from my house. I want to have adventures and I want to take pictures and capture those moments and take videos and capture those moments and I really want to make memories and not just stay in my room all day which is a lot of what I did last year. <laughs> Next up is a book with some tea or coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't ever want to be one, but I really want to read a lot of books this year. I want to maybe just right when I wake up, read a book. Next thing I want to do this year is cherish my friendships. I really want to build strong friendships with girls I will have for the rest of my life. Just planning a wedding, which girls are going to be in my life the longest and you're thinking, how special are these girls? How good of people are these girls? I have had to lose a lot of people in the last year because of who they were. This year I want to have friends that I can trust that will support me to do the right things. I'm really excited to see these friends grow into sisters and I want to cherish that. That's something I haven't really done all my life. Next up is a wedding picture because I am getting married this year and that is my goal to get married this year. <laughs> Um, I don't think anything's going to get in the way, so this might be just an easy check off, but I felt it was necessary. Sophia Carson. I absolutely love these photos. I just, oh, there is just something so enchanting about these, so absolutely stunning and beautiful that when I go to Paris, I'm going to have a dress, a skirt, something just like it so I can get those exact photos. I am obsessed with these. Also, not just out of the country, but I know going out of the country can really make you bump up your style and your fashion, but I want to have good style and fashion throughout the year. I am one to wear leggings, sweatpants, pajama bottoms all day long, and this year I want to be chic, girly, and feminine and I really want to just experiment with some fashion trends and see what can come of them. Next up is this picture, Selena Gomez. Um, I think this picture is really cute. I want to do my hair a lot. I want to have accessories. Last, but certainly not least, Ariana Grande. And I chose this picture because I just feel confidence exudes from this picture. I want to be courageous, stand up for what I believe in. I have so much I want to do and it's kind of hard when I can get sidetracked, distracted, stuck on YouTube into the little black hole I go into every now and then. And it's going to be amazing to have a board that goes, hey, hey, right here, this is what you're aiming for, this is what you gotta do. And like I said, I've got a wedding coming. So there's going to be a bunch of wedding videos coming. I spent years and years and years, even when I was young, never had a boyfriend before, I was watching wedding YouTube videos. So if you're anything like me, you're going to love the videos coming up. And I hope you guys got inspiration from my dream board. If you already made a dream board, let me know what you put on there that 
may inspire me or is something unique uh, or even just your main goal you have for this. I really love the idea of this, not just not the law of attraction, but just the idea of something that's going to motivate you every day. You're going to see it every day and it's going to motivate you to get out of your bed and do something. I am excited for this year. This year is going to hold a lot of great things for me and I'm very excited for what's to come and I hope you guys are too and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys got some motivation from this. I think this could very well motivate some people. I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye!